Hello people, I'm Zojo and today we're recording on an origami tutorial on an origami queen bee. So <coughs> this origami queen bee is my own design and hope you guys enjoy. It's got a few rough kind of hard-ish folds but yeah it should be alright so first I'm gonna take this corner and bring it to this corner here and next you want to unfold it and bring this corner to that corner good job now you want to unfold and flip it over. Take this side and bring it over to that side. Good. Now you want to unfold and bring this side to that side. Good. Now it should automatically come in kind of like this. I've got a few folds already so my folds are being arrogant and messing around with each other and so it should be easier for you guys to do this fold but to do the other folds you might want to have some big folds. Okay. So now you've got that small square. You want to take this edge here and bring it into the center making sure you only bring out one layer and not the second one I want you to do the same with the other side now I want to flip it over and do the same now you want to unfold them and from these two lines that you just made make an imaginary line here side and make an imaginary line there Just like that good job and I've got those pieces okay so next what you want to do is you want to make a line here so what you do is take this line here and bring it down into the center. But before you do that, take this corner and fold it along here. And make sure it's hard. Okay, so now that you've got that, you wanna fold that in. And fold that in. And do the same with the other side. Fold the two ones in. Good job. Now you want to unfold it, unfold only one of them, and open it up. You should have a triangle somewhere around here if you folded the last fold hard enough. So now you want to make something like what we did on the Velociraptor video, which was bring the top part and bring it downwards. So I want to bring that down so that it becomes hollow instead of going upwards. I want to do the same for all sides. The reason I've already done these folds is because without the folds, these folds take quite a while and this video will just be really long. So since I've already got all the folds, to speed this through hopefully you guys can pause the video and do this if you haven't already done that okay so make sure you guys do all that okay now you should have a diamond 
sorry if I was a bit quick there and unclear. Basically, what you want to do is okay. Let's just put this back up. So before you had something kind of like this, I believe, right? Yeah. So before you had something like this, a flap. What you wanted to do was bring it up. Yeah, you've done that. I'm pretty sure. And what happened is that you fold this down, unfold it, then you open this and you should have a triangle and you want to press the center towards the middle and do that. Okay, so now let's start ahead. So first we want to make the tail. <coughs> so first what you want to do is take an imaginary line here and fold it up. Good job. Now, what you want to do is fold this and bring it down. You want to then unfold all this and bring in the squared crease that you just made. Sorry that this is quite unclear. It should end up like that. So now, now we have a flat top here instead of a triangle. Okay. So now, um, sorry. What we did last was wait. Okay, so that was tail. Now I'll make the head. So first. You want you should have something here that will stop you from going further to the top. What you want to do is just fold against this line here so that it goes to the side, kind of like this. So now you want to unfold that and do the same, but this time to the other side. Now you should be able to take these two lines and fold them towards the center so that it kind of creates something like this okay now I want to take these two parts and just bring these together like that okay so that should bring something like this if no then you might have a problem there so you want to you have this, and so basically, you should have that. And what I want you to do is, from where this thing kind of bends here, you want to take it from there to this bottom part, where you should have this 90 degree here. Now I do the same for the other side. Sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky today. I just been talking a lot. Okay. So now, this is probably a hard one as well. The thing is, you want to kind of open a flap here. And basically, if you want to do this, so side to side. Kind of like the tail, but keep it like that. So once you've done this fold, unfold it and put it back. Same here. Okay, so now you want to take here and you should have a crease going along here now. So what I want you to do is take it from there and bring this crease kind of downwards. something wait a second so we've got that and actually yeah just do that do the same with the other side okay so looking at our past model here we 
should have something like that, yeah. Now this is not entirely finished yet, so don't don't be scared if she's like, oh no, it's not exactly the same. It should be fine, hopefully. Ding. So basically, now you want to take a fold here on where this thing looks like that, and bring these into the center. So then, kind of looks a bit nicer. And then you want to close it back again. So yeah, it should look like this now. Now with the head, you should have like another thing here where it bends. From where that bends, you want to go straight up. And from the bottom here, you want to fold that right up. So now you've got that. What you're gonna do now is make sure it's kind of up so you have that and squish the head upwards a bit so that it kind of is kind of looking up. <coughs> anyway, so now you have this. Now, what you want to do is unfold the back, and from where you have there, I mean, from where you've got this. You want to make a tiny, tiny fold that goes back down. And to make this um, model a bit more um, firmer, you might want to add some sticky tape just to make it firmer, but you shouldn't need it. Only if you want to like keep it firm. And you should make a bend here. So, so what we did was that fold. Now I want to take these pinches and bend it so that it kind of, you know, makes that effect. Now I want to do it again from anywhere you want, your choice, and bend it. Do it again if you want to. That is, and bend it. So, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. This is Zoltria. See ya.